Is one of the better parts of the holidays receiving a box of chocolate-covered cherries? Then let's go for the adult version. Join me and learn to make my chocolate-covered cherry martini. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep it all very simple, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook or entertain, because we know you really can. So if you like this episode, hit the subscribe button hit that like button, and watch a new episode every single week. So here we are. We're in the bar of LG Manor. You probably know what that means. But let me explain it to you anyway. Now, chocolate-covered cherries. You probably see these all over this time of year. You think of Christmas. They're so delicious. So guess what? We are going to make a cocktail. Yes, a chocolate-covered cherry martini. That is a great treat for you, and it's something good to leave for Santa too. So let's get started. I'm gonna build this in this glass so you can see it because it's so pretty. This is very easy. Ratios with cocktails, right? We always talk ratios. To make two drinks, it's three, 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 and one. Can't get any easier than that. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start with cherry flavored vodka. This is the kind I like, uh, but there are lots of makers out there, so get whatever kind you like, what you can afford, uh, but make sure it's a cherry flavor because that's the key to the cherry martini. So we need three ounces. One, two, three. Put it right in here. Next is the chocolate part. This is creme de caco. Now this is the light kind. This comes in two ways. It comes in white and dark. So you see this is clear, but you can also get it in dark. Either one will work. They both taste about the same. I'm using the clear kind today or the white kind because I want the red color of the drink. But use whichever you can get. They'll both work for you. Again, three ounces right in. Glug, 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 glug. All right. One, two, three. Heavy cream. Plain old heavy cream. It's fine. Whatever you need. Three ounces. And then the red grenadine. One ounce. All right. Now look already, it's a beautiful color. I'm gonna pour this over ice. And our favorite part, the shaky shaky. Okay. Now, let's hope I can get this off. There we go. We're gonna put this out of the way for a moment. Just let it rest for a moment. Our glasses. I have two glasses here. One for me, one for Santa. We need a little more chocolate. I have dark chocolate syrup here. All you do, don't squeeze the bottle, just let it come out and just drizzle around haphazardly or artistically, if you are so inclined, just like that. Now, we're gonna strain it right into the glass. Carefully, you don't want to wash the chocolate down the side, so pour it right in the center, just like that. How beautiful is that cocktail? And I have a little garnish. Just gonna put that on the side. 
Hopefully it will balance for me. There we go. Oop, not quite. But you get the idea. There we go. All right. That's our chocolate-covered cherry martini. Now, what do I always do for you? I give it a taste. So here we go. Mm. It is amazing. It is just like having one of those candies in cocktail form. Now, this is very sweet for me. I couldn't drink too many of these. You probably shouldn't either, but they sure are fun. It's the perfect thing to have after the kids go to bed, maybe even after the husband goes to bed. Have one, sit and relax in front of your Christmas tree, and do leave one out for Santa. I'll be leaving one out for Santa on Christmas Eve, and along with a few other treats. It's always worked for me every other year. So remember guys, we'll have it up in the comment section of YouTube. And remember, follow us on social media. So until next time, we'll see you again because you're all invited to come on over, come on in and let's celebrate. Cheers.